Okay, this is a uh, Korg SQ1 and the little bits out and how to make that work. You got to have the Korg little bits, of course. You will not need your keyboard or your sequencer because this is your sequencer and basically your keyboard. Um, it's this orange thing is what you need. It's called Little Bits Proto, P-R-O-T-O, -O, Proto. Um, you get it from littlebits.com. And it's about 20 bucks with tax and delivery. It was like 2005. Um, but this part goes in between the battery and all the pink stuff, all the synthesizer stuff. And you have to do a little work, and you have to sacrifice one of your mono cables to get it to work. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but inside a mono cable, if you strip it a little bit, all these gold hairs are wrapped around this, this white tube in the middle. So you got to pull those aside. I can't do this with, two, with one hand, but you separate them, twist them together, and then strip this other one just the last, like, quarter inch, strip it. And then you have to... There's three little things in the middle here. Uh, you got to pull the middle one out with a pair of pliers. They're little connectors. You pull the middle pair out for whatever reason and you pull it out. Um, there's an inside and an outside. Uh, so the in goes by the battery and the out towards the synthesizer. You do this on the outside, on the side that goes to the out. Um, in the middle, there's these little screws, three little screws and three little holes, right like that on the other side. In the middle, you put the very center of the wire whatever's uh, inside that insulation you gotta cut off a little bit stick it in use a tiny screwdriver and drive that down and lock it in place and then in the first position one two three in the first position uh, twist up the rest of the wires that were on the outside and s stick them in there nicely and screw them down tight and then you're ready to go and you hook this up to the little bits, it says little bits out on the SQ-1. And then you're stuck with another half a wire, just save it for, in case I mess that one up somehow. I don't know how I would do that, but anyway, I've got, um, the MIDI ran out to here and other places in my rig. All I have hooked up right now is this synthesizer, so you can hear that, and a TR-8 drum machine just for bass and snare. So we can hear that guy with this and see what we get. So let me turn it on and Easy to pull it apart. Connected with magnets. For those of you that don't know. All right. That's pushing two volts. And then, without changing anything, that's five. Keeps adding a little higher octave, new dimension. And of course, you can.
But anyway, it stays in sync with my drums. So that's awesome. So you got your MIDI in. And this little speaker has a headphone out. You stick a stereo cable in it just right. You get a nice connection out to your mixing board. Uh, but it's kind of touchy. And a mono cable doesn't work. Takes a stereo cable and you got to put it about three quarter of the way in, but it stays in place. But if you push it in all the way, that's too far. That's for your headphones. It's touchy. Yeah.